Italy's Mount Etna has stunned the world with another eruption. But Mount Etna is not the only volcano we should be scared of. The volcanoes I'm about to reveal in this video could erupt at any moment. They're taking time bombs, poised to unleash chaos. Let's take a deeper look into the world of these explosive giants. Katla Volcano, Iceland The Katla Volcano in Iceland last erupted in 1918. Despite the years of quiet, we remain in the danger zone. If Katla were to erupt, its explosion would be 10 times stronger than that of nearby Eyjafjat Leokul, which erupted in 2010, causing billions of dollars in economic damage and stranding millions of travelers. Known for the ferocity of its eruptions, Katla's larger ash plume would shoot higher into the air and spread over larger areas of Europe for a longer period, with far more devastating effects on air travel and economic trade. Overall, an eruption would be a high hazard and high risk event capable of massive property damage and loss of lives. As far back as 2014, concerns were raised that an eruption could also trigger a tsunami along the south coast of Iceland and out to sea, though the exact effects and potential damage remain unclear. So how likely is it to erupt? The likelihood is fairly high. The two volcanoes, only 12 miles apart, tend to erupt in tandem and Katla typically erupts in 40 to 80 year intervals. A 2018 study cited by Iceland magazine summarized that Katla was charging up for an eruption. But this is where things get really terrifying. Cotopaxi Volcano, Ecuador The Cotopaxi Volcano in Ecuador is another disaster in the making. Shockingly, its eruption has been ongoing since 2022. But if it finally decides to erupt in a major way, the effects would be catastrophic. Straddling the Andes Mountains, Cotopaxi began roaring back to life in the mid-2010s and has been rumbling consistently since last year. While these eruptions have mostly been minor, a major seismic event would produce more than 100 million cubic meters of ash, a column at least 12 meters high, according to a volcanologist, Patricia Mothus. If this were to occur, 200,000 people in Cotopaxi's shadow alone would be directly or moderately affected, Mothis added. Some estimates suggest that a major eruption could be even more devastating. Fizz.org reported in 2015 that up to 325,000 people would be immediately at risk if Cotopaxi erupted, as the volcano's snow-capped peak would likely melt and cause massive flooding throughout the region. However, it's unclear when Cotopaxi will have its next major eruption. Scientists believe it could be months, years or decades, but it will happen. But there's another volcano that many people don't know about. Cumbre Vieja, Canary Islands. Cumbre Vieja in La Palma in the Canary Islands, which last erupted in 2021. Although Cumbre Vieja's last minor eruption in 2021 caused minor damage and a few thousand evacuations, Scientists have previously warned that a major eruption of Cumbre Vieja could cause the entire western flank of the volcano to fall into the sea, creating a mega tsunami with waves hundreds of meters high radiating out into the Atlantic. However, subsequent studies have significantly downplayed the risk of such an outcome. In a 2021 report for the US Geological Survey, the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory stated that the theory of an eruption prompted mega tsunami does not hold up to rigorous examination. Scientists also say that the likelihood of a major eruption is low, with the year to year probability being minimal. However, preparations should be taken anyway, given the potentially catastrophic damages. But that's not the end of the story. Mount Vesuvius, Italy. Mount Vesuvius in Italy is another active volcano that poses a significant threat to humanity. This volcano, famous for its catastrophic eruption in 79 AD that wiped out Pompeii and Herculaneum, last erupted in 1944. Today, a major eruption would cause much greater damage due to the significantly higher population around the volcano. About 3 million people live nearby, many of them in Naples. An additional 600,000 people live in the Vesuvius Red Zone, an area that would require immediate evacuation in the event of a major eruption. According to the CBC's The Nature of Things, a major eruption could kill over 10,000 people and cost the Italian economy more than $20 billion. 
Millions would likely lose power, water, and transportation, some for months, mirroring the disruption caused by Iceland's Eyjafjallajökull eruption in 2010. Air travel and shipping across Europe would be severely impacted, and Naples could end up buried under meters of ash. Fortunately, scientists believe that Vesuvius is unlikely to have a major eruption for a few hundred years. Although the volcano has been quiet since 1944, it remains extremely active, with a significant risk of future eruptions. It's uncertain when the next major eruption would occur, but up to a million people could be seriously impacted. The Italian government has started moving people away from the danger zone, creating a national park around the volcano and offering residents financial incentives to relocate. Recent studies suggest that Vesuvius may not erupt for several more centuries. Since 1631, Vesuvius has been producing mafic magma, which is less vicious and gas-rich than silicic magma, indicating that a large explosive eruption might only occur after a prolonged quiescent period. Isn't it terrifying that people don't realize we're living around unexpected landmines ready to explode at any moment? Well, here's where things get even crazier. Popocatepetl Volcano, Mexico In Mexico, there's a volcano called Popocatepetl, which frightens people for a very strange reason. Its last major eruption was in the early 2000s. The 17,797-foot volcano, affectionately known as El Popo, has been spewing toxic fumes, ash, and incandescent rock persistently for almost 30 years since it awoke from a long slumber in 1994. Situated 45 miles southeast of Mexico City, it looms much closer to the eastern fringes of the metropolitan area of 22 million people. The city also faces threats from earthquakes and sinking soil, but the volcano is the most visible and closely watched potential danger. A severe eruption could cut off air traffic or smother the city in clouds of choking ash. Ringed around its summit are six cameras, a thermal imaging device, and 12 seismological monitoring stations that operate 24 hours a day, all reporting back to an equipment-filled command center in Mexico City. In January 2024, to everyone's shock, Mexico's Popocatépetl volcano, whose name means Smoking Mountain in Aztec, began belching out towering clouds of ash. Located about 45 miles southeast of Mexico City in central Mexico, the volcano is considered one of the most dangerous in the world, with roughly 25 million people living within 60 miles of it. Thus, it's also one of the world's most closely monitored volcanoes. A total of 13 scientists from the multidisciplinary team take turns staffing the command center around the clock. Being able to warn of an impending ash cloud is crucial because people can take precautions. Unlike earthquakes, warning times can be longer for the volcano and in general, the peak is more predictable. Effects of a major eruption would be catastrophic. A large eruption could send a city-sized cloud of ash 20 centimeters thick to descend upon the buildings of Mexico City, Pacific Standard reported. The deadly cloud would then clog Mexico City's drainage lines, poison its water supplies, and seize electricity transmission via short-circuiting, the outlet added, noting that the devastation will be accompanied by 1,000 degrees lahars and pyroclastic flows that would reach most of the towns in the immediate area. After an 80-year dormant period, Popocatépetl has had recurring seismic activity for years, with many explosions occurring as recently as February 2024. However, the volcano's trends toward relatively small-scale events are quite frequent. The Wall Street Journal reported, and the last major eruption was more than 1,000 years ago. But let's take a pause for a moment, because things are about to get really shocking. Yellowstone Supervolcano, Wyoming In the United States, we have one of the most powerful supervolcanoes named Yellowstone. Thankfully, it last erupted 640,000 years ago, but that doesn't mean we're in a safe zone yet. In fact, we are far from it. When the Yellowstone Caldera or supervolcano in Yellowstone National Park erupts again, its effects would be worldwide, the US Geological Survey said. Most experts believe that a massive eruption could end up coating the surrounding region 500 miles across in more than 4 inches of ash. This would result in the short-term destruction of Midwest agriculture. 
The volcano could also impact the global climate by emitting ash and gas into the stratosphere, which could block sunlight and lower global temperatures for a few years, according to Michael Poland from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. The resulting catastrophe could shut down transportation, collapse buildings, short out the electrical grid and cause massive agricultural failure. Volcanoes do not work in predictable ways and their eruptions do not follow predictable schedules. Even so, the math doesn't work out for the volcano to be overdue for an eruption. In terms of large explosions, Yellowstone has experienced three at 2.08, 1.3 and 0.631 million years ago. This averages to about 725,000 years between eruptions. That being the case, there are still about 100,000 years to go, but this is based on the average of just two time intervals between eruptions, which is not very reliable. Most volcanic systems that have a super eruption do not have them multiple times. When super eruptions do occur more than once in a volcanic system, they are not evenly spaced in time. Although another catastrophic eruption at Yellowstone is possible, scientists are not convinced that one will ever happen. The rhyolite magma chamber beneath Yellowstone is only 5 to 15% molten, the rest is solidified but still hot, so it's unclear if there is even enough magma beneath the caldera to feed an eruption. If Yellowstone does erupt again, it need not be a large eruption. The most recent volcanic eruption at Yellowstone was a lava flow that occurred 70,000 years ago. Geologists see signs that Yellowstone could be preparing for another large blowout soon, though the US Geological Survey said it is not overdue for an eruption, contrary to popular belief. If you made it all the way to this part in the video, you may qualify for our membership, so you might want to listen closely. It's an exclusive area where we release videos that we cannot show to the general public yet. You will get to see everything first and learn about the truths that we cannot reveal anywhere else. The community is growing incredibly fast, so it's best to get in early before we close the access. If you want to learn more, hit the link in the description, in the pinned comment or on our homepage.